Okay, let's say that you've uh, trained a model and you've made some predictions and you want to download all of the scored data set, all of the predictions. So take a look here. Uh, this is our traditional bike buyer's example. We're trying to predict who is and is not going to purchase a bike. We've got a bunch of variables in here uh, in addition to whether or not they purchased a bike, like marital status, gender, um, number of children, income, stuff like that. Uh, down here in train model, purchase bike, yes or no, that's a um, categorical value. So I'm going to use a two-class logistic regression to predict it. Split data here, the traditional 70-30 split. Random seed, pull the training data into train model, the testing data into score model. However, here's what I do differently. Rather than have an evaluate model like we've often been doing in our previous videos, we are going to grab, let me minimize these. Here we go, an export data from score model out. So what do we want to export it to? Uh, we actually just want to uh, just show you for now some of the options here so I can export to, we've been working with Azure SQL Server databases. So if I choose that, it's pretty straightforward. Just plug in the database server name, database name, account info, just like we did before in the prior video when we pulled from an Azure SQL Server database. But what I want to do instead, rather than export data, I just wanted you to see what was possible there. I'm going to use this one right here. Convert to CSV. This is under data format conversions. Right here. There we go. Just wanted you to see some of these other options there. So let's grab this score model, pull it in. Uh, let's run all the way down to this one. I'll go ahead and pause the video while it runs. Okay, that's all done. Click on convert to CSV. Right click results data set. I can save it back to my save data sets or I can just go ahead and download. Let that finish. Oh, I gotta move this up. Oh, I see it's off the screen. One second. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Here's my download score data set. Um, oh, Excel is currently frozen on my machine, but one second here. Okay, got it right here. Let me move that back down. Sorry, I meant to move this one down. Score data set. So let's show you what this looks like. All right, um, here's all my independent variables, just like they were uh, entered, my dependent variable, and now I've got my prediction, scored label. So you can see, eh, it's so-so. But something else to keep in mind that this is only the scored data for the testing portion of the split data model. So right here, there was a thousand original records. This split data uh, left out 30% for model training, which is why if I fit this here to the screen, if you scroll down, you can see that I've got 301, so 300 records. It's only the test data from the split columns. But this is a useful uh, feature to pull down your predictions.